I'm going to show you how to make letter art and PowerPoint or to put it another way how to turn pictures into letters in PowerPoint and I will also try to give you a few replacements if you do not have PowerPoint or maybe if your PowerPoint is not updated to have these features. So here we go. So this shows a painted mural in Austin, Texas. You can create a similar look using digital letter art and I'm going to show you how to do that in PowerPoint. Here is a, another mentor postcard showing Florida and inside the letters you will see different elements that make up what Florida has to offer. As an example, I'm going to show you how to make a greetings from home spelling out with images as letters in a postcard format. Okay, so I am in PowerPoint and I have already selected the images I want. I'm going to pull them over here one at a time. I got these images from Pexels and Pixabay. So here's Pixabay. This has free stock photos and Pexels also has free stock photos. You can also take your own images and upload by going to insert pictures into your PowerPoint or you can go pictures, stock images, and search directly from PowerPoint to get your stock images in there. Once you have your stock images, you are going to go to insert text box and you're going to put a text box over the image that you want. And then you're going to type the letter that you want to create here. You need to increase the size as big as you want it to be. And you need to go and find a font that is a big, chunky, fat font because that's going to show more of the image that you want to highlight. For this, I'm going to choose Impact Font. All right, so you can see that I have my H there and then I have my home. And I'm going to put the letter exactly over where I want the image to show. Then I'm going to click on the image first, hold the control key down, then click on the H. Then I'm going to click on Shape Format, Merge Shapes, and I want to intersect these shapes. Once you have your letter, you can go to Picture Format, Shape Outline, and you can put an outline around the letter to make it more visible. And once you have do that, this now creates an image. So this image can be moved around, it can be copy and pasted, it can be saved as just an image file for you to print and then cut out whatever you want to do with it. Now I'm going to show you something that is a common mistake. So let's get the other image. Insert, text box, I'm going to put my letter here. I'm going to change the font to impact. What I want in the image is in there. If I would select the letter first, then the image, and go to shape format, merge shapes, intersect, you can see that it doesn't do anything. You have to select the image first, hit control, then select the letter, then go to shape format, merge shapes, intersect. If you are working on this postcard project, you can click on this box. You can shape fill, fill it to any color that you wish, or you can go find a picture, copy, bring it over, paste. You can size it to fit in the box. You can crop it if you need to. Right click, send to back. And you can overlap your words, greetings from, your picture here, and your text here. So use your creativity and come up with something special. If you are working in Google Slides, you can do this a couple of ways. If you have access to PowerPoint, you can make it in PowerPoint and then just upload the file into Google Drive and it will transfer it to a Google Slide. But if not, if you're just trying to work here, um, another option is if you have access to PowerPoint, you can make your letters here, copy, go to your Google Slide, and paste a letter in because this is an image. If 
you cannot do any of those things. Uh, one feature that you can use in Google Slides is to go to image, search the web, and then you can crop to shape. This would be very tedious, but you can make little shapes um, out of the images that you have. So for example, this would be the start of the H. Like so. And you can just crop any image by clicking on the image that you have and going to crop can make most letters look pretty similar when you do this method. Alright, hope that helped you with an alternative to use Google Slides instead of PowerPoint for this project.